Earth's history spans more than five billion years, and in that time, countless species have arisen and disappeared. However, we often encounter surprising twists in the story of evolution. Through painstaking research and astonishing discoveries, scientists have found evidence that some of these prehistoric animals still exist today. From creatures rediscovered in the ocean depths to hidden forests, prepare to discover animals thought extinct but still alive today. Number 1. The Woolly Mammoth, an iconic symbol of the Ice Age, was thought to have been extinct between 4,000 and 10,000 years ago, with only bones and tusks as proof of its existence. Fossils found in the frozen tundras of Siberia, North America and Europe indicated that these mammoths disappeared due to climate changes and pressure from human hunting at the end of the last ice age. However, recent discoveries and scientific advances have provided new knowledge about these majestic creatures, reviving the discussion about their possible resurrection. In 2013, Scientists in Siberia unearthed remains of woolly mammoths with intact muscle tissue and liquid blood, a revolutionary find that allowed their DNA and physiology to be studied in detail. These studies showed that woolly mammoths were incredibly well adapted to cold environments, with long, thick fur, a thick layer of blubber, and large curved tusks that made it easy for them to forage in snow and ice. Furthermore, Recent reports have increased intrigue about its existence. In 2012, some residents of Siberia claimed to have seen a creature resembling a woolly mammoth roaming the region. However, they were unable to get close enough to confirm their suspicions due to safety concerns and fear of scaring the creature away. Although some suggest it could have been a wild elephant, many scientists believe the descriptions do not match any known elephant species. The physical characteristics of woolly mammoths, such as a hump of fat behind the head that served as an energy reserve, smaller ears to minimize heat loss, and teeth adapted for chewing frozen vegetation, are clearly distinguishable from modern elephants. These characteristics are documented in the numerous mummified and fossil specimens studied by paleontologists. Although the woolly mammoth is officially extinct, the hope of seeing these magnificent animals again on Earth is an exciting prospect. Scientists are investigating the possibility of cloning these ancient giants or creating elephant hybrids with mammoth traits. Number 2. The Ivory-Billed Woodpecker, which measures about 20 inches in length and has a wingspan of almost 30 inches, is one of the largest woodpeckers in the world. Known as the God Bird, Due to its impressive appearance and elusive nature, it was thought to be extinct. Its distinctive plumage features glossy black feathers with prominent white markings on the neck and a white stripe on the back. Males have a bright red crest, while females have a sleek black crest. Its powerful beak, pale ivory in color, gives it its name and is used to crumble the bark of trees and feed on insects and larvae. This majestic bird, native to the hardwood forests of the southeastern United States and parts of Cuba, was last seen in large numbers in the mid-20th century. The destruction of its habitat and hunting were the main causes of its presumed extinction. However, in 2004, an exciting discovery attracted worldwide attention when a team of ornithologists and bird watchers reported seeing the ivory-billed woodpecker in the swamps of Arkansas. This finding was supported by brief grainy video and audio recordings of their distinctive calls. This discovery sparked hope and interest in the birding and scientific communities, prompting extensive searches and conservation efforts. Since then, there have been numerous reports and recordings of sightings of this bird by various people, but no conclusive scientific evidence has been obtained. Despite numerous expeditions and the use of advanced technologies in the search, there is no definitive evidence of a stable population. Although there is pressure to declare the ivory-billed woodpecker extinct, biologists and bird watchers insist it still exists. Comments from Ornithologists 
amateur observers and communities that consider the bird a cultural symbol have reinforced hope that this majestic bird is still out there. Number 3. The Takahe, a large, fightless bird native to New Zealand, was long thought extinct. Known for its vivid plumage and robust size, a Takahe was last seen in the late 19th century leading scientists to conclude that it had succumbed to habitat destruction and introduced predators. However, in a remarkable turn of events, the bird was rediscovered in 1948 by Dr. Jeffrey Orbel in the remote Murchison Mountains on the South Island of New Zealand. The rediscovery of the Takahe was nothing short of miraculous. In fact, the bird has been called the bird that came back from the dead. Dr. Orbel, a dedicated ornithologist, had long suspected that the bird might continue to exist in the unexplored wild. His perseverance paid off when he and his team found a small population of Takahes during an expedition, demonstrating the resilience of nature. The Takahe's body features are distinctive and have fascinated scientists and bird enthusiasts. It is a large bird approximately 63 centimeters tall and weighing up to 3.6 kilograms. Its plumage is a striking mix of deep blue and green, with a stout red beak and strong legs. These birds have large, powerful legs adapted to their terrestrial lifestyle, and their wings, although small and not suitable for flight, are used for balance and for displays during courtship rituals. The Takahe's anatomy and fossil records suggest it has existed for millions of years, adapting to New Zealand's unique ecosystems. Their strong legs and large feet are indicative of a life traversing rugged terrain in search of food. The bird feeds primarily on tussock grasses, using its strong beak to tear off the nutritious parts of the plant. Since then, there have been numerous sightings of the bird, and in 2023 conservationists reported a steady increase in the population, with more birds being released into predator-free sanctuaries across New Zealand. This ensures their continued survival and highlights the success of ongoing conservation efforts. Number 4. These sharks have lived in the deepest part of the ocean for an astonishing 125 million years. Because of their deep habitat, we rarely encounter them, which limits our knowledge about them. Some can grow up to 13 feet in length and have unique features, such as a flat nose, nail-like teeth, and pink skin. They are perhaps the most unusual species of shark in existence, as if straight out of our worst nightmares. They live at depths of over 330 feet and are believed to move slowly compared to other sharks in shallower waters. They look for their food on the seabed, feeding on crustaceans, squid, and fish. Their long noses have special electrical sensors that help them detect prey in the dark. They sneak up on you from behind, making quick, deadly attacks with their powerful jaws, leaving little room for escape. Fortunately, goblin sharks live in the deepest parts of the ocean, beyond the reach of human research. If they were in accessible areas, encountering these predators would be a terrifying experience. Number 5. Anomalocaris, an ancient creature that sailed the seas long before the dinosaurs, in a time called the Cambrian, about 500 million years ago. Unlike the giant monsters commonly associated with prehistory, the Anomalocaris was surprisingly small, barely a meter long, or even less. Its slender body, with undulating fins and a large fan shape, propelled it with elegance and strength through the water. Armed with dangerous crossed appendages, it pursued its prey tirelessly, its square mouth ready for a lethal bite. In an early underwater hunt, the Anomalocaris, with its sharp stalked eyes, tracked its prey with graceful movements, demonstrating its dominance in the environment and its position at the top of the food chain in an evolving ancient world. Some scientists believe that Anomalocaris could have been the first high-altitude predator in history, a pioneering force in development. 
Its unique body shape and hunting tactics make it interesting to researchers seeking to understand our planet's distant past. Despite its small size by modern standards, Anomalocaris had a great influence on the ecosystem of its time. Number 6. In the darkest parts of the ocean lives the frilled shark, a fascinating and terrifying animal. Imagine a long, thin prehistoric snake with dinosaur-like teeth. That's a frilled shark. They are shy and rarely seen. We only had images in 2004. Although they appear weak, they are living fossils that have been swimming in the oceans for 80 million years. Their appearance and extinct relatives make them unique. They are called ruffled because of their appearance. When they open their mouths, it's terrifying. More than 300 sharp teeth in 25 rows. Despite their thin bodies, they are muscular and can attack their prey like a land snake. An Australian fisherman who caught one in 2015 described it as a big eel with a horror movie head. He called it a sea monster and swore never to catch another. Number 7. Deep beneath the ocean surface, thousands of these extraordinary creatures congregate, forming a mesmerizing display of nature's wonders. Located off the coast of central California, this garden is a natural wonder, untouched by human hands. Discovered by researchers in 2018, the octopus garden left the world speechless with its immensity and complexity. It took several years of meticulous study to unravel its mysteries, but what they found was truly extraordinary. The garden is home to over 5,000 octopuses, covering an area of six acres, with a total estimated population exceeding 20,000. These octopuses, known as Muso octopus robustus, migrate to the garden for mating and nesting purposes. It is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for them, a pilgrimage to ensure the continuation of their lineage. Females carefully select warm places to lay their clutch of eggs, around 60 in total, which they protect with unwavering dedication. What makes this garden truly unique is its location near the foot of Davidson Seamount, a dormant volcano. The warm waters around the bush, heated by hydrothermal vents, provide the perfect environment for octopuses to thrive. The heat accelerates the incubation period of the eggs, allowing the offspring to emerge in less than two years, a remarkable achievement in the deep sea. But life in the octopus garden is not without its challenges. Predators lurk in the depths, attracted by the abundance of food provided by the deceased octopuses. Scavengers such as giant grenadiers and starfish feed on the remains, creating a delicate balance in the ecosystem. Despite the risks, the octopus garden continues to be a beacon of life in the abyssal depths. Its discovery has opened new doors for scientific exploration, revealing the hidden wonders of our oceans. As researchers continue to study and protect this remarkable habitat, we are reminded of the importance of preserving our marine environments for future generations. Number 8. The Cayman turtle of the genus Macrocheles is one of the largest species among freshwater turtles. Its distinctive shell, with serrated edges, can reach up to 80 centimeters in length. Its coloration, usually in brown or olive tones, allows it to skillfully camouflage itself in its aquatic environment. One of its most notable characteristics is its ability to remain submerged for long periods, thanks to its adapted nose. This turtle is carnivorous and feeds on a variety of prey, including fish, crustaceans and waterfowl, using its powerful jaw and sharp teeth to capture its food. Despite its imposing presence, it faces serious conservation threats, such as habitat loss and illegal hunting. Conservation measures are being carried out to protect this species, but greater effort and awareness is needed to ensure its long-term survival. In summary, the alligator turtle is fascinating both for its unique adaptations to the aquatic environment and for its crucial role in freshwater ecosystems. However, 
The conservation challenges it faces highlight the need for additional action to ensure its future survival. Number 9. The Gario Crocodile, a fascinating species known for its unique appearance and aquatic adaptations. It is a large reptile found in freshwater rivers on the Indian subcontinent. Its distinctive feature is its long, thin snout, which accounts for more than half of its total length. This reptile is a skilled swimmer and feeds mainly on fish, thanks to its specialized jaw structure. Their sharp, pointed teeth are ideal for catching aquatic prey. The Gario crocodile prefers habitats with calm, soft waters, such as rivers and estuaries. Despite its imposing appearance, it is considered endangered due to habitat loss, water pollution, and poaching. Conservation efforts are being implemented, such as captive breeding programs and public awareness of the importance of preserving their natural habitat. In summary, the Gario crocodile stands out for its long and thin snout, adapted for hunting fish. Although it faces conservation challenges, efforts are underway to protect this unique species and contribute to its preservation in the wild. Number 10. Promocotothus, an intriguing inhabitant of the ocean depths, is distinguished by its morphological uniqueness, challenging the limits of our understanding. With a noticeably large and flattened head, eyes that appear almost luminous in the darkness, and short tentacles that give it an enigmatic appearance, this squid is a true wonder of nature. Even more fascinating is the presence of elongated fins on the upper part of its body, a peculiar feature that makes it stand out among the creatures of the abyss. Their deep ocean habitat presents a challenge to scientists, as the extreme conditions make it difficult to study their habits and behaviors. The paucity of information about this mysterious being adds an aura of intrigue to its existence. Despite this, research efforts persist, driven by the desire to unravel the secrets surrounding Promocotothus. The quest to better understand its ecology and biology is a path full of uncertainty but also amazement. Each new discovery about this enigmatic squid brings us a little closer to understanding the complexity and diversity of life in the deep oceans, reminding us that there is still much to explore and discover in the depths of our planet. Number 11. Ribbon worms are a group of parasites belonging to the phylum platyhelminths, and more specifically to the group of Estodia. These flat parasites have elongated, flattened bodies that resemble ribbons, hence their common name. Tapeworm life cycles typically involve two or more hosts. Typically, the intermediate host is a herbivorous or carnivorous animal that ingests the eggs or larvae of the Estodia. Once inside the host, the larvae develop into forms called cystocerci. When an animal such as a mammal consumes the raw or undercooked meat of the intermediate host, cystocerci are released into the digestive tract. They then adhere to the intestinal mucosa and develop into adult worms. Some species of tapeworms can parasitize humans, causing conditions such as teniosis, which is infection with adult tapeworms in the human intestine. This can occur by consuming raw or undercooked meat that contains the larvae of these parasites. It is important to observe hygienic practices and properly cook foods to prevent infection from tapeworms and other foodborne parasites. If infection is suspected, medical attention should be sought for proper diagnosis and treatment. Number 12. Chiasmodon niger is a species of deep-sea fish that belongs to the family Chiasmodontidae. It is commonly known as the black gobbler due to its dark appearance and unique eating habits. This fish is found in the depths of the ocean, specifically in the mesopelagic zone, where sunlight barely penetrates. Some notable characteristics of Chiasmodon niger include its small size, usually around 10 centimeters in length and its extendable jaw that allows it to swallow prey larger than its own body. This fish feeds on other marine organisms in the depths using its sharp teeth to capture prey. 
Chiasmodon niger has been the subject of interest for biological research due to its unique adaptation to the abyssal environment and its specialized feeding behavior. Studies on this fish contribute to the understanding of life in the deep sea, where conditions are extremely difficult for most life forms.